when keeping on track with large data streams, we may find that subtle anomalies can slip through the cracks. Devo provides a group of anomaly detection charts to visualize changes in data in a time series. Let's take a closer look. Let's say we have a table measuring the behavior of various machines ingesting client data. We have been alerted of anomalous CPU usage data on one of the machines at a specific date and time. We can use the anomaly detection graphs to analyze the CPU behavior, which detect anomalies even before the human team notifies the problem. The only requirement is that your data is a univariate time series, that is, a query containing a temporal grouping with no columns added as arguments and a numeric column. We can use the robust random cut forest chart. This chart is suitable for data flows that don't necessarily have a constant cyclical pattern. Drag the column you wish to analyze to the value field. The data analysis performed by anomaly detection charts can be divided into two phases, training and evaluation. Bear in mind that these charts are generally used once the user already has an idea of what a normal range of data would look like. This is what the training phase is for to create a forest of trees that represent normal behavior, setting a normal, non-anomalous dataset to base the algorithm on. It is highly recommended to avoid having visible anomalies in the dataset selected for training. The points used to train are those included under the green band, which can be modified by dragging the band or using the options at the top of the chart. Everything that is not part of the training will be evaluated by the algorithm. After training part of the data in a specified series, the chart will predict potential anomalies and will indicate them as red points. Let's take a closer look at the options. Firstly, the shingle, corresponding to the size of the sliding window. This parameter controls how fast the algorithm is going to adapt and learn changes in the incoming data flow. A short sliding window creates a more flexible algorithm, quicker to adapt to changes and forget old data, whereas a high shingle value will keep this older data for longer. The next field is the number of trees used to represent normal behavior. This correlates with the tree size. The higher the tree size, the more capacity to learn about data. Next, the time decay. This is the expected age at which a random sample point should expire and be replaced by a tree. Now, the initialized points value is how many events the algorithm will use to train. Try not to select too much, as we want our algorithm to garner enough data without overfitting. In order to glean the most accurate results, the charts require a regular, uninterrupted flow of events. If there are no events for a time series, the charts will interpolate these values, filling the gaps with a maximum of five purple points to show that they have been generated. Keep in mind that interpolated points are simply a prediction generated by the chart and are not real. For more information on the mechanisms behind this interpolation, see the article linked below. We will set this to average previous, meaning the chart will base the interpolation on the previous data in the series to calculate the average. Finally, the threshold, used to decide how strict you want your system to be with the anomalies it flags. Click Train to see the evaluation stage. First, we have the series, plotting the CPU usage points. The anomalies show as red points on the chart. Next, we have the score, rating just how unexpected the anomaly is. When a new event arrives, it is inserted into the trees, creating a distortion. The amount of reorganization needed in order to stabilize the tree is translated into an anomaly score. Charts are interactive. You can zoom in to specific parts of the series by clicking a point in the top chart and dragging to the required endpoint. Below, you can navigate to where you are in the graph. To go back to the default zoom, click the All button in the zoom area. Thanks for watching this video. Visit us online to keep up to date with the latest content.